What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct here to give you my fave five plays for tonight's three game mini slate, man. Hope everybody have, everybody's having an amazing day. It's been a long day for me, 12 hours, but I want to get this video out the way knowing that the lockdown is at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I want to give you my fave five plays before I uh, shut down for tonight, man. It's been a long day. Feel free to like the video, please subscribe, and if you don't mind, press that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Let's jump into it real quick. Now, going to my point guard, I like the Aaron Fox going against Cleveland. The 228 implied total in this matchup. Love this game as a fast-paced game. Looking at about 103 to 96, but I love this pace for Sacramento. Going against Cleveland, he got a great spot. He had 60 fans points last game against Cleveland. And as you can see in the past five games, he had 250 point uh, fancy point games in the past uh, five games. He had a 41. So 7,200 uh, on DraftKings is a great price knowing his upside against Cleveland. And you're looking about 80, 86 fans. Uh, 8600 on FanDuel. We love this price. Love. He's averaging around 32 minutes a game, getting about 25% in usage, and he's projected to get around 37.2 projection with a 5.2 value play. Love Aaron Fox in this matchup. So let's go to our shooting guards. Shooting guard, like Clay Thompson, going against the Lakers. The 227 implied total in this play today, and it's going to be fast paced as well. As you can see, 101 for Golden State. A 103 on a Lakers end, but they're looking about a 13 uh, 13 point favor for Golden State in this play. So they're projecting to get about a blowout. But you know, Clay Thompson is one of those guys that still be he's still on the court, even though it's a blowout game, he still likes to be on the court. Um, so he's having around 34 minutes a game, getting about 34.7 fancy points a game. And he's projected to get around 34 for tonight, a 5.6 value play at 6,100 tonight on DraftKings. And looking about 71 on FanDuel. I love this price, getting about 26% usage on the court. And as you can see against the Lakers, he is real consistent. I like the fact he had 38 last game, 57 the game before that. You know, so I like this play, knowing that he can give you upside in this play, even though it's a blog game. He has a great matchup against the Lakers. They're 28th on the shooting guard position. And it's really not no one on the Lakers, man. They, they, they're going with the bench. So I have no problem playing him on the shooting guard position for tonight. Clay Thompson, great spot, 6,100. Now let's go to our small forward play. Got to go with Giannis in the great spot against Philly. Knowing that they're first, they're number one seed right now. They're two games from uh, Raptors or two games from them, and you have Philly. They're in, they're the third seed as well in the conference. So he knows the statement game to put them down. You know he they're not going to want to get an L in this play. You still have Chris Middleton. He's a game time decision in this play as well, and he's eleven thousand one hundred. But he's definitely worth the price. Look at the fat past five games against Philly: ninety one eighty. 61 65 so this is one of those games that he has to play because he wants he doesn't want to get this l and you know they need to keep that first seed and he had the raptors creeping up so love this play for Giannis in this matchup the last game he had 42 percent usage on the court even even though he had 29 minutes 49 fantasy points so he's a fantasy point monster so if Chris Milton is out, is most definitely a play, but I still love him in this spot at this price tag. And you're looking about 1100 more from the DraftKings price. So, John is in a smashing spot for tonight. Gets the Lakers. Let's go to our power forwards. Let's go get some savings, shall we? We need some savings. So, I like Harrison Barnes against Cleveland. 4,500 on DraftKings, looking at 5,000 on FanDuel. And you know, he's been on slump lately as the past five games, 17, 23, 16. But I like the fact he's still getting the minutes. So you're looking at about, you know, 33 uh, minutes in average a game. Getting, still getting about 21% on the court. So I love this play knowing his 
his history against Cleveland at home. He likes playing them at home. That's a great stat to know. I mean, he's first time playing them in his in the Kings uniform at home. But I like this play. Check him out. 29, 43, 41, 44. Great upside at this price. Loves playing Cleveland. So got to give him a shot in this three-game slate. So going to go with Harrison Barnes. 4,500, 5,000 on FanDuel. Let's go to my last play at center. Now, in center play, I like DeMarcus Cousins against the Lakers. 7,100 on DraftKings, and you're looking about 9,200 on FanDuel. As you can see in the past three games, getting around 36.8 fans points, but he's projected to get around 41.4 projection at a 5.8 value play tonight. All right, so love this play. You know, last game he had a 4-2 fantasy point game, but as you can see in, in that time frame, you know, he had a restriction in minutes. So knowing that he's unleashed in his minutes, right now he's averaging around 26 minutes a game, but he could go up to 30, depending on how the pace of this game and how competitive this game gets. But Marcus Cousins still is in a great spot at 7,100. So if you want to fade him on Fandle, it's understandable, knowing that he has, doesn't really have much upside with the price tag on FanDuel, but I like to play on DraftKings. But if you want to go down to like, let's go down to like a Jonah Bowden, man, 4,600. We're still looking at the status with Embiid for tonight. So if you know Jimmy Butler's out and if Embiid is out, we got to go with Jonah Bowden in a great spot as well. 4,600 on DraftKings and he's 5,000 on FanDuel. So he's in a great spot. Gets a weak uh, Milwaukee. Uh, center position the 22nd against starting centers and, you know he has great upside in this play as you can see in the past two out of the three 37 face points 44 face points in the past two out of the last three I like this play for him so you know you go with him in that play so we still gonna monitor the status with Joel Embiid if he's out gotta plug in Bowden so if you like my plays, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your line, feel free to comment below. As you can see, I'm using Draft Dashboard tools in the link in my description. So all you have to do is click on the description. Sign up is only $1 for 30 days. You could do a lot with a dollar, so why not cash? Once you sign up, click on your menu bar. You have your access to your NBA cheat sheet. You have the sleepers and studs. Click on your watch players for your custom player pool, and you have access to my plays. That is the reason why I have my link, so you have access to my plays. So if you want to know what's going on, you want to see updates on my plays, that's how you get my link in my description, y'all. So love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Melodia Fest. Y'all stay blessed. See y'all in the next video.